name is Brandon and I work at Gridiron Football and I've had the pleasure of working with the Sport Feed at these past few weekends and yeah, and I just kind of want to walk you through a small tutorial on how it works and where we want to set it up to try to capture those big moments during the football games. So uh, first thing, obvious, set up tripod, right? And then you just attach the cell phone or the iPhone to into the tripod and make sure it's about four to five feet up in the air. Um, sometimes I would watch out, the tripod might fall over. If it doesn't have a sandbag, if it's particularly windy, I would just watch out for that because that's sometimes that's an issue. So just watch out for that. Hopefully you get a, you have a sandbag or it's not too windy. Um, just have something to weigh it down pretty much. Second thing is turn on iPhone. We yeah, should know how to turn on iPhone uh, at this point. So just turn on the iPhone. Click on the Sportfee app next. Sportfee is a little camera. You'll notice it, I'm sure, if you're working, setting it up, you've seen it by this point. But it's just a little camera, just turn on the app. And then make sure that you see places, not events, because places doesn't always pop up if you're not registered. So just make sure you see places on there, because that's where we're going to be setting up the camera and the live streams. And pretty much to uh, kind of avoid that to consolidate it so we don't have to worry about that. We're just gonna use my login, but just in case we don't, that's just make sure that you see that on there, that you're granted access to it. But my login, the login everyone's gonna use for these is Brandon, B-R-A-N-D-O-N, Lucas, L-U-C-A-S, work, W-O-R-K, 1993 at gmail.com. And then the password we're gonna use capital G and then gridiron2021. So that's a capital G in Gridiron 2021. And then pretty much so, now once you're logged in, you see the places that you're gonna go to the specific field where you're at. So make sure that if it's 1A, 1B, 2A, 2B, or field one, two, three, or ABC, make sure that you set up the camera at the correct field. And sometimes when you select the field, and you click on it, um, you, you'll, see, you'll see when you click on the field, it might be grayed out. If it happens to be that it's grayed out, go back to the places, and you should just press the back button, go back to places, refresh the page, click on it again, and you'll see it lit up where you can press it again, and then you can set, up, uh, set, up, uh, set it up again. So just watch out if it's gray, go back, refresh the page on places, and then it'll wide up and you should be able to click on it again. So then next, after you click on it, it'll prop select camera mode. So pretty much what we want to do is, and we want to turn off the microphone. I mean, I guess depending on where you're at, um, just for now, we turn off the microphone and make sure it's on high bandwidth. You'll see it on there. It's easy. You should be able to scroll over off iPhone, make sure high bandwidth, and then then you just press start. Uh, you, then you just press start and it pulls up the live stream and you can see where you're, where you're going, um, see what you're filming and stuff like that. So pretty much at that point, make sure it's at one time zoom, not 0.5 times zoom, not two times zoom, one time zoom. Okay, that's where we're going in. It's close enough, but not too, like, too close to where it looks blurry. It's like a kind of happy medium that we found out. And then next, the iPhones, that we're going to be filming on are going to be attached to a battery. So make sure that you press the battery, you turn the battery on. There should be a button on the side or on top, depending on what kind of battery it is. Just make sure it's on so we can make sure that the phones don't die in the filming process. Next, uh, place the tripod in the correct location, which we'll go, we'll go to, um, we're going to go over here to where we're going to place the tripods on the fields. So for the flag games, which since we're using a full field, and since quarterbacks, and this will apply for both, are more likely right-handed, we're gonna set them up on, if they go down here, we're gonna set up as if the quarterback is right here, and then vice versa. But what we're gonna do is we're gonna set them up on the seven yard line, 10 feet back on opposite sides. So quarterback here, so we're gonna try to catch, the idea is try to catch all the plays because it's most, most quarterbacks are right-handed try to catch it like this or like this. So seven yard line, 10 feet back, seven yard line, 10 feet back, and this is for flag. So next one is flex, which is a little different because you're only really using half the field. 
So same thing that applies. We're gonna we're assuming most quarterbacks are right-handed. So we're gonna set up one camera at the three at the third yard line, uh, ten feet back, and then the other one at the fifteen yard line, ten feet back. And both of these cameras are gonna be facing like this, straight ahead. I'm trying to get squared up, straight ahead at the fifteen yard line, ten feet back, third yard line, ten feet back. Um, yeah, so that's where we're going to have the two cameras, two cameras per field. We're going to set it up. So let me see. We'll go back here real quick. And final thing, of course, make sure you recharge phones and batteries at the end of the night. And I know the batteries are made to charge the phones, but I would just charge them. I know I, I, I would just quicker to, well, not quicker, but I would just know to charge the batteries first and then charge the phones separate. So you kind of avoid just the batteries taking forever to charge because they're charging both of them at the same time. So hopefully this was uh, helpful and yeah, we're excited to see you guys on the field and thank you for watching. Bye.